Hi, I'm Andre. I uh, live in Wilmette. We moved here about the turn of the century and we wanted solar from the get-go. Um, it wasn't really feasible back then due to uh, costs and return, but in recent years, uh, you know, costs have come down, the solar industry picked up, and groups like Citizen Utility Board have come up with programs that help people uh, do group purchases and help with uh, assure good installations. So in 2020, in June, our system of 24 solar panels uh, went live and produces about 30% of the annual electrical usage of our family of four and lowers our bills annually about 15%. And that's pretty good because uh, we've increased usage as well, knowing that we have we have solar power supplementing our comet. Um, as you see, we have uh, trees and solar. You know, we like both, so it's a uh, it's a bit of a compromise, you know, in terms of how much we trim back and and the solar production. I will let you know that in the fall and the spring, in the fall and the spring, um, when there's no leaves, we do get good production. So don't worry too much about the trees and those things. Um, there was a, a happy unplanned adjustment that happened uh, during our installation. We had in mind most of the panels to go on the garage. We have a detached garage and some on the house, but it turned out we couldn't fit all the panels that we had planned on onto the garage because it did not leave enough room on the roof on the edges uh, for anyone who needed to work on the roof. So we moved about five panels that would have been on the garage onto a south-facing area of the house roof an odd area that you can you know, barely see from the street or from our windows and it turned out those five panels are some of our best producing panels. Can you say that last, last sentence one more yeah. time? And it turned out those five panels are some of the best performing panels in our collection. Um, I, I'd like to point out our standing seam roof. We, we went to that because historically we had some uh, uh, problems with leaking and it turned out to be a very good thing with solar panels because they were able to uh, clamp on with you know no penetration of the roof and they've been very uh, sturdy like no problems over the last couple of years when we'd have winds and weather that you know toppled nearby trees so um, so my suggestions are consider south facing and implement there when you can. Uh, if you have a standing seam roof, take advantage of it. If you need a new roof, consider it, you know, and um, leverage organizations that want to help you like the um, Illinois uh, Solar Energy Association and the Citizens Utility Board.